My name's Richie Anderson, and I love football. I love playing for my Sunday league team, Coomswood FC, but I've got a secret I can no longer keep from them. It's time to tell my teammates I'm gay. To the best of my knowledge, my teammates are straight. It's funny, really, because in every other part of society, I'm out and I'm proud. My friends know, my family know, but as soon as I'm here on a football pitch, it just feels like a taboo. I've come to Villa Park to meet the former pro, Paul Elliott, who now looks after the Football Association's Inclusion Advisory Board. I hear homophobic comments on the pitch, and I see referees not even bat an eyelid. I think there are ongoing challenges, and, and certainly around homophobia. I, this is just me being honest with you. Absolutely. I, I, I just feel like there's not enough there at the minute that says to me, if I hear a homophobic comment on the pitch, you do this, you speak to that person. Homophobia has to have the same level of importance. My teammates know I'm making a film about grassroots football, but have no idea what I'm about to say. I just want to have a quick chat with you all. One of the big issues that we've looked at this week, uh, sorry, which is like, it's really close to like my heart, um, is homophobia in football. And the reason why that means a lot to me, because I'm a gay footballer. So did you, did you go through what you wanted to say to your teammates? Yeah. Did, you, did you practice it, Richie? Well, yeah, well, this is really embarrassing. So the night before at home with my other half teen, uh, I made us kind of like rearrange the living room. So we like dragged these massive sofas across and uh, we did it so it kind of like, it kind of replicated the changing rooms. And I stood up and I made this big speech that went on for an hour. He was thrilled, as you can imagine. <laughs> and then when I got into the changing room the day after, I just went to jelly. Now, time for Richie Anderson to give us the full story behind the footage that we showed you a little bit earlier. A group of people have just been slammed into that shop over there trying to get hold of the ball. And it's just unbelievable, really. I don't know where the ball is now. Tony Clues is the mayor and the chairman of the town council who helped finance the game. How can you ensure people's safety today? You can never ensure people's safety. People do get injured, so it's really at their own risk. So you must have seen some of this disorder. Look, I haven't seen anything that uh, would raise my concerns. To what, what would raise your concerns? Well, people dying, obviously. For five solid days, Rebecca and Richie have experienced it all. And in the true spirit of sport relief, kept on going and kept on smiling to raise money. What have you done today? Because I know you've just done one, haven't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to talk about this. So we've been doing an event every day, as well as the walk-in, uh, based loosely on the modern pentathlon. So we went into today tied at 2-2. And today was the, the running element, but obviously uh, because of our injuries, we had to walk 50 metres along the track at Alexandra Stadium. I don't want to go on about it, but um, I did win, which means that I have won the week at 3-2. Uh, but I think it's been a healthy competition, actually. We haven't fell out. We've kind of cheer each other on all the way through. I think sort what of. we've learned from this is that I'm really good at sit-down sports. Yeah. So uh, I can ride a horse, I can sit in a kayak. Um, I think you're good at the technical sports, whereas I'm good at the sports what you can just run into and do. Well, I'm just trying to make a feel better. I mean. Hello, good afternoon and welcome along to the show. And considering I use this voice every day, you'd think a 24-hour karaoke would be a breeze. But you'd be wrong. So here I am at Wolverhampton University. I'm about to meet Jackie for the first time. Do you know what? I just hope she's ready for this vocal gift. Jackie Graham. Oh, hello, baby. Yeah. Oh, man. You snuck up on oh. me then, didn't you? How are you? You look good, baby. You're you look ready? amazing. Well, you... thank you so much. Are you ready for today? I think so. Could it be I'm falling in love with you, Jackie? With you, Jackie! You can hold a note, darling, but I, I think I need to bring it down. 